Alright, what's up YouTube? I'm uh, back with another video. Um, this is uh, the new uh, four-stage RODI unit that I just got in today from uh, Bulk Resupply. Uh, 75 gallons per day. Um, got the um, the RODI unit, the, the TDS meter. I just did single inline TDS meter. Um, don't really care what it is coming in. In my opinion, I just need to know what it is coming out. Uh, let me know when I need to start changing uh, my filters, uh, put new resin in the DI stage. Um, as far as the sediment filter, that's that'll be visually changed uh, when that thing starts turning. I'll change that filter out. Um, this is a real. It's a pretty sweet little system, guys. I'm happy with it so far. Um, got it all. Uh, got it all set up. Um, got the um, the uh, flush kit installed on it. Um, also, um, this um, automatic automatic uh, top off um, came with. Um, they actually installed it for me from the factory. It's a it's an auto shut off valve. Supposed to have an inline. Um, check valve, which they forgot to install, so I'm going to have to call them tomorrow because without that, it's really not an automated system. Because what happens is, let me show you guys what's happening in here. This is the water that I've already made with it. Um, right down in here, I figure I probably got maybe uh, 20 gallons made already. No, probably 15. Um, but this is the this is the auto float, and once that clicks off. This is supposed to back back pressure. There's with that check valve and the auto valve, the auto top off uh, valve that they put in is supposed to stop all flow to the unit coming from the sink, um, but it doesn't. So it's dumping out the dirty water drain line. Never shuts off. So I got to get on the phone with them, have them uh, send me that check valve because I do need that check valve. Um, but yeah, so far so good. You guys can see how I installed it here. Um, they actually sent the adapter here. This adapter is pretty sweet. Screwed right onto my utility sink. You can come in here and I can use the sink. Flick it back off. The, uh, the RODI unit is hooked right to it. Um, that makes it really nice. I just uh, basically just ran my wire, zip tied it, ran it just a little line around the back up to the unit. Um, but yeah, it's pretty sweet so far. I'm happy. Um, TDS meter, that's always a good thing when you're reading zero TDS. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I'm excited about it. I'm happy. i am uh, got it all set up now. Um, probably going to do a uh, nice little water change in my tank tomorrow. I uh, got this pump, the re uh, not the return pump, a little... 200 gallon an hour uh, power head down in there. Not sure if I'm going to use it. Um, let me know what everybody else is doing. What you guys do with yours. You guys put a pump in it to circulate the water, or is it okay just sitting? Um, hit me up with your feedback there. Um, but yeah, I used all these uh, little sticky tabs right here and uh, zip ties. Got it all nice and set up. Um, Right on the other side of this door is actually our spare bedroom. We never use it um, as far as going through here, um, through our laundry right here. So I pretty much just close that off. Uh, but yeah, the uh, the unit is sweet. Um, it's a nice unit. And I paid, uh, like I said, about one one sixty five and some change with shipping. Um, it is the four stage RODI unit. Um, it's got the sediment, carbon block, the film tech 75 gallon per day membrane, and uh, the DI resin. Um, all the uh, adapters, connections that they sent with it to hook it up, really, really simple. Um, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to do this, guys. This is really simple. Um, worked out really good for me being as I have this utility sink right here. Um, that I could just connect right to instead of having to come from my um, cold water side of my 
washing machine, um, the inlet for my washing machine. Um, this actually, like I said, this came with it. I have another um, another connector that came with it that I can go to like an outside garden hose outlet, which is retarded to me. Um, I don't know who would ever want to use this on an on a outside with your garden hose. I mean, I, I don't know. I guess maybe if you have an outside building or something. You could use it in that sense, but uh, but yeah, I got all the extra parts up there. Um, came with uh, came with a wrench, um, uh, some extra tubing. Um, there's that piece I was talking about, that garden hose adapter. Um, got this. Uh, it's like a U bracket to uh, hold on to. Um, whatever this pipe is here so you could so I could put that bracket in there and dump the water back down in that um, that discharge right there um, but yeah having like I said having this utility sink right here uh, make this key uh, got it mounted up on the wall uh, it was this was really simple to do guys this this thing took me literally probably 20 minutes to set up I let it run and made one five gallon bucket of water um, before I started actually collecting the water, um, but you guys can see what I did here. I just basically came right out of the unit, TDS meter, came across, came down, and then just basically just dropped it uh, right in here. All this came with it. It's just a through hole uh, with a little bracket and a float switch automated. Um, like I said, it's not really automated right now without that check or the backflow preventer that they were supposed to, that I paid for them to do, they're supposed to connect it and, and place it right in here um, before this um, auto check, uh, shut off valve. Uh, without the check valve, basically the unit would explode if I left the, if I left the water on once, once my tub is filled up and the float switch is actuated up, puts a pressure lock on it, won't let any water come out, won't let any water come out um, as far as collecting it, it's dumping it in the sink out of the discharge line, but uh, filling it up here and just extreme pressure. Um, when I actually first got it all hooked up, I was trying to just curious how all that worked. So I uh, just pulled up the, the float valve and actuated the, the uh, auto shutoff valve. It shut it off. No more water is coming out over here, obviously. Um, watched the DI stage fill up completely with water and the whole damn thing started shaking on the wall. Um, the the discharge line uh, never shut off. See that's one thing with the check valve. When they send me the check valve, I get that check valve in there. I won't ever have to turn this water off. Um, right now the water's on because I'm making water. Basically what's going to happen when I uh, get this tub filled up until I get that check valve is I'm going to have to turn the water off at the sink. Once I get the check valve, that water will stay on constantly. Um, that way I can use my switch here uh, as far uh, to keep using the utility sink and the RO unit can actually just make water whenever it needs it. Uh, it won't discharge water automatically. Um, <clears throat> basically once I get that check valve hooked up it will shut the complete system off, won't let any water in or out. Um, so it should be pretty sweet but um, just wanted to do a quick update here guys, let you guys see what's happening. Um, show you guys the new RO unit. Um, hopefully my skimmer, I know uh, I was talking about it in the UV video that I just did, hopefully the skimmer will be in Monday, Tuesday at the latest, I'm actually getting aggravated with uh, my local fish store, I ordered it through, uh, they were supposed to get it through a local retailer, they didn't have it, they had it on back order, um, so they went through another guy. How do you are Tennessee, uh, which apparently does all their shipping UPS ground. Um, so just gotta sit and wait for it. But yeah, just uh, like I said, guys, just want to do a quick video, show you guys what's happening here. If you guys got any comments, questions, concerns, hit me up. Um, if you guys like my videos, um, subscribe. Many more videos to come, guys, on this uh, 72 gallon uh, bow front build. Um, Next thing will be coming out will be the full review on um, the Reef Octopus NWB110 Protein Skimmer, the new cone skimmer. Um, it's a 10, 2010 model. Uh, but yeah, guys, hit me up. See ya.